Greetings, my friends. Here are a couple of cuff bracelets for you. I think you'll enjoy making. This is a sheet of red and a sheet of black on number one setting of my clay machine. And I just cut them and put them very close together, touching each other. And I taped them down with a little bit of frog tape. Uh, this is a painter's tape, so it doesn't damage the clay. Uh, but you can use blue tape or maybe even masking tape. So I laid it out like this and I silk screened it in gold. This is a Sculpey silk screen that I really use a lot. It always turns out really pretty. And this gives me three strips really. It gives me two reds and one black. I need two reds because I'm going to turn one of those over for the inside of the bracelet. Uh, the last strip is gold and I'm uh, silk screening it in some red for contrast across the top. And that gives me four strips. So we have inside and then three on the outside. So I'm going to cut these um, using my templates. And I, that way I've got the clear templates from the Easy Cuff Kit from Tiny Pandora. And I can lay them out the way I want them. I can put the clear part over the best part of the silk screen. Which is why it's good to have something you could see through. So I'm cutting that strip. I'm cutting that about a quarter inch bigger than it needs to be, so I'm using a one and a quarter inch template to go on a one inch base. Um, I'm just telling you that because that's the way I did it this time. You'll see how you want to do it. I placed them on the metal cuff with a piece of um, cardstock that I've taped down, and that keeps the uh, paint and the silk screen from sticking to the metal of the form. Okay, so I'm laying it out like that, and making sure it looks the way I want to, uh, and then trim it up. And once it's trimmed up, I'm going to bake that for 30 minutes at 275 and let it cool completely. And that'll be the base of our bracelet. So while that's happening, I can make my top part. And that's just centering up the black on the red and then the gold on the black. It makes a really nice composition. Um, and you can either put hardware on it or not. I've had some findings I wanted to use. And so I designed it with those in mind. They're really pretty. They're from Bisu Boutique, and I'll give you a link to her. She carries some very high quality findings. Um, I've got the alcohol link out because I use it to touch up the gold a little bit, brighten it here and there. I also put trim on the edges using some scrap silk screened black. So there it is after it's laid uh, out and secured, smooth, baked. And I'm going to take the super glue and make sure those findings are going to stay on. And then I also added a couple of screws in the top because it just looked more done. And I know that that uh, dome won't come off. So for the second bracelet, I mixed these two colors, which is Sculpey Primo Yellow Gold Glitter and Souffle Igloo. And I made a kind of a sparkly off-white sheet that I silk screened with... Uh, my uh, other Sculpey silk screen. These all come in one box. So you get a big, big old assortment in there. So I'm using this one this time with some black paint. That doesn't come in the kit, but uh, it's very inexpensive acrylic black paint. And um, I've got that silk screened and I want to add some color to it. So I thought I'd experiment with a little bit of alcohol ink. And it was just super fun. I highly recommend it. It was just like grown up coloring. Um, this really uh, fun experience. So I painted it. I cut a strip down the center for the outside and I took the remaining pieces on the inside and just kind of, uh, you know, butted them up against each other to make uh, the interior. So there's the outside. I finished that with some deep shine that you can get at tinypandora.com. And I finished the other bracelet with deep shine as well, which is a UV uh, finishing agent. And it was a fun project. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you make some soon. The Easy Cuffs, the Deep Shine, are at tinypandora.com.